Good afternoon, YouTube Bice Walkers. So Cane Rod Piper did a um, segment. It's going to be uh, Faith on Friday or something like that. And he posted why he believes in God. So he asked if anybody wanted to participate, they can respond with a VR. So I guess this is my response. And I was raised a Roman Catholic as well. And I wouldn't call myself a practicing Catholic. Um, and I'm on the fence in certain beliefs. I do believe there's some kind of higher power. I think he, something created the world. And I try to live my life um, on an even keel. Um, I don't want to harm anybody. I, never my intent. And I try to be good to people as best I can. And you know, live a life of you know, decency. I may not always hit that mark, but I try. Um, where I take issue is, and I've even asked priests this when given the opportunity, um, you know, I understand he can't prevent, you know, like a car accident or a plane crash or things like that, but I struggle with the part where you take a, a newborn baby and he'll be born with some rare disease. Um, that's where I have a problem. And I can't wrap my head around. And I don't like the answer, well, he works in mysterious ways. That doesn't do it for me. Um, So nobody's really ever given me a satisfactory answer to that. Why someone who obviously has power and um, like the power of prayer, which many times, and I've seen work, uh, when a group will pray for somebody and it's a good outcome. But then why would he allow a newborn child to have some rare disease uh, that suffers, uh, that child is innocent, regardless of the parents, what they were. Let's say they were uh, non-Catholic, non-believing. Still, the child is not that person. The child is his own person. Why take it out on the child? So that's where I, I, the questions start to come into play. And I, it, it, I can't come up with a satisfactory answer that I can wrap my brain around. So, and that's the big, I guess I don't want to say a deal breaker for me, but that's where I struggle. You know, and it's been proven historically about certain things that happened, that they found proof that happened, which coincides with the Bible says. You know, the other theory I've explored is what if this was some elaborate story someone created? And they created a Bible, and they created this whole story, from lack of a better uh, word, for people to have something to follow. So picture 
if you were in a store that had no people in it and everything was done with the honor system so you would take an item and put it in your cart and then check out and pay for the item and you didn't know if there was any way they could tell if you paid for that item or not. So it was based on just honesty. But we're not sure that nobody can tell. Maybe somebody is watching through cameras and such. So picture that same scenario with a belief system if somebody developed that follow your life to the, these restraints, you know, thy shall not kill, and thy shall be good to thy neighbor, and all of those classic um, things we hear, with the belief that somebody's watching. Isn't that a possible theory? And there really is no higher power. So, and I live my life as though somebody's watching. And I think most people, I mean a good amount of the population, do the same. So, that's where I'm on the fence. Um, and I think it's good to believe that there's something to keep you in check, maybe, if that's what it takes. Um, and I'd rather be a, a good person towards other people and um, try to do the right thing, which I do. Am I free from sin? Absolutely not. Uh, but I don't think I'm a, a bad person in any stretch of the imagination. And I try to live as if somebody's watching and there will be a judgment day. But I struggle with, as, as I said, certain segments of it. I can't fully wrap my head around and uh, say with an ironclad certainty that there's a God. I hope there is, and I hope one day to find out, but uh, I'd like to believe there is, but um, like I said, I have questions that um, confuse me, I guess would be the best way to put it. Anyway, interesting topic, Mike. Thank you. Uh, Hope you have a good vacation. I know you're back Tuesday, I think you said, so I'll try to put this video up by then so you can see it, and uh, I'll be interested to hear your response. Thank you, and have a good uh, vacation.